high Brent Tech here where tech is made simple. So about two weeks ago, I posted a video that the new Outlook on Windows is making it very difficult to go back to Mail and Calendar. If you are still on um, Mail and Calendar and the classic Outlook and just posted that video to keep you guys um, in the loop. Now, I'll leave that video down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. And the reason I'm mentioning that previous video is because it kind of ties into what we're going to talk about today. And that's that as of today, the 1st of August 2024, Microsoft has now designated the new Outlook as generally available, GA for short, and it's no longer in public preview for customers. And because of this, as an example, if we head over to the Microsoft Store, we can see now that Microsoft has removed the new badge from the apps icon and also the name. So it's now just Outlook for Windows and the badging where previously we saw that little new badge that's also been removed. And it's just now Outlook. Now, what this means when it's become generally available, it doesn't mean now that as of today, the new Outlook is going to be replacing the old Outlook and the mail and calendar app. That's not the case. And I know this is going to be a little bit confusing, so I'm going to uh, try and explain this as best as possible. Now, what this means is basically is that the new Outlook, which is now Outlook, um, is still opt-in and is an experience that you can enable within the old Outlook, as you may well, well know, which is still just Outlook. So it gets a bit confusing, but nonetheless, that's more or less how this is all going about in true Microsoft fashion. Now, generally available also means it's ready to replace the built-in Windows Mail and Calendar apps. So starting with Windows 11 version 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update, and I have posted on this previously, and if I get my hands on that video, I'll also leave it down below and in the end screen. So starting with version 24H2 of Windows 11, the older mail-in calendar apps will no longer be installed by default, as I've mentioned previously, and instead the new Outlook will be pre-installed and will be the default email and calendar client on Windows PCs with version 24H2. So that's the gist of all of this. And because obviously the new Outlook or the Outlook now app as it's now known um, is also available over on Windows 10. This will also include Windows 10 now that um, Outlook is generally available or GA according to Microsoft as of today, the 1st of August 2024. And the older mail and calendar apps will no longer be available as I've mentioned previously starting the 1st of January next year, 2025. So those will be removed and then the new Outlook will be the default email client for Microsoft across the Windows OS across the board. And I know this is a little bit confusing. I've seen a couple of comments. So um, I've got some new information and I just wanted to put it out there just to keep you guys posted that um, obviously this is the latest development and that new Outlook is just now Outlook for Windows. Although the classic Outlook is still available and as I get wind of any more information obviously I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.